All right, you can see a bunch of changes. Now there's auto drive that turns it into manual and controlled by the computer. And then that's the go for the autonomous part. And so just have a basic field here. It's 0.8 hectares or about a bit, a little over two, two acres. And we're just sitting here now. And what we're gonna do is generate. Now this is a different, this is like the headland form, except with a few more options. So you can see here is the boundary around the outside. And then these lines are like guidelines of where, if you were gonna drive the headland, this is where the, the individual tractor would go or vehicle would drive in the center of this. So this is basically like the applied. So just a guide. So first thing we create a, create an AB line. We'll go this way. And there's two ways to create a headline. You can either just make it based on equipment width, that sort of thing. But I really like to do it just with click this way. Whoops. It came a little longer. There now you can create your own headline that headland that way. Now we have a headland back and forth. And then how many uh, individual number of headland passes do we want to make? We can make two in this case, fill there and there. And then we just have the center to fill in. So then we make a headland. So we start here, we drive to here, we make headlands, whip around. And what I'm using is the U-turn. Whatever you set in entry and exit determines the turn on and turn off for doing the headlands and that sort of thing, just like the infield does with um, with normal, the, the way I did all the seeding and, and rolling and harrowing and stuff this spring. So just expanded that out to the, um, to the headland. So then we want to create a start point and we want to start here and go in this direction. And then we generate a path from where we finish the headland to the start of our infield. Voila. These are all Dubins. Everything that's interconnecting is all based in Dubins curves. And this is the start of the tractor. And then when it's done the field, it should return back home again. So then we go, okay. And there's our field. It's all generated now. So if you change the width or you change the field or whatever, you just generate it again. And all you do is you hit go. So right now it's following a Dumas generated curve to the headland. And then as soon as we get to the headland start, which is always at the, see, that was really one. So that is like a U-turn when you make a headland that's a U-turn exit. So same thing as when you're exiting a headland, that's the same as turning everything on. When you enter a headland, that's the same as basically turning everything off so you can transport or drive or, or whatever. So now we'll just speed it up. So in U-turn, entry we have the auto turning off and exit, auto turning on and relay turning on. That's all I have on this for now. And away we go. Okay, so now it's the same as headland. Everything turns off, lifts up, whatever but that's just an entry. Now it follows the Dubins to the next headland pass. You can have as many headland passes as you want, you know, 50. Might look ugly on the corners. Now it just did like an exit U-turn. So really this autonomous part of this is just a virus within AgOpenGPS to steal all its functions 
and um, and just run it autonomously. And so now that's done. Now it's going to take that Dubin's path to the start of doing the infield. And when the infield starts, you'll notice that auto steer will turn on, U turn will turn on, and it will snap the AB line to where we started and the direction that we wanted to head to. Here, I'll slow it down. Well, ah, forget it. See, it snapped, everything turned on, and now it's just like doing a normal field. And so it'll turn around on the on each of the headlands. I don't know if you noticed, but it was pointing this way to turn left or to turn right, but it it's applied, so then it'll turn the other way. If it's applied, there's no point in turning that way. So it'll it knows which way to go across the field because it's already applied on that side. So just turn the other way on both sides, then it just turns the opposite way of the way it turned last time. So it's kind of, you don't have to worry about telling it which way to start. The other thing we do is on the U-turn, put in this distance, trigger distance from headland, so you can adjust that to whatever you want. And then of course the turn before and after is still the same. Now the trigger for ending the field is the fact that it runs out of headland. If there's no more headland and you can't, this is that, that black line there, that's the box where you are on the headland, which direction you're going and, and all that. When it can no longer a headland, it might catch it this next turn, then it knows it's at the end of the field. Of course this is baby steps and just the beginning, but this will do a normal field. Is it going to catch the line or not? Oops, see it turned red. Now it knows we're at the end of the field and it's all done. So it just generates a Dubin's and we head back home again. And then you'll note that everything's off and then the one here means to drive. So then that this is now going off to the Ethernet module that does the driving for the tractor. And then when we hit the end of the line, where we were, where we started, this guy should shut off there. Field done. So whew, it's a lot in one video, but there it is. Thank you.